In this first test, just look what happens to a traditional, poorly reinforced structure as it's put through the stresses of a Kobe-style earthquake. It rocks back and forth, and the concrete quickly cracks. If it wasn't for the blue steel safety columns, the whole structure would come crashing down. It's here today at the National Institute for Disaster Prevention that they're going to test out a new way of strengthening old buildings. They'll be using this enormous 250-ton earthquake simulation rig. Now what matters here is that great big grey oblong of concrete. It's held up for the purpose of this test by this blue frame here. Now that grey concrete represents a story in an old poorly reinforced building in Japan with perhaps a room there, as you can see the great big gap in the middle would be a room. So this is the whole secret of the new system. Here's that central column and here coloured blue here are two steel plates. One coming up from the bottom, one coming down from the top as fingers of steel which don't quite touch each other because in between those fingers is a very strong viscous material. You can see it just black in between there. When the earth quakes, that warms up and gets flexible. And that allows those plates, those fingers of steel, to move on each other, thus providing damping and stability for the whole building. There it goes now, and there's something like 4.3 gigawatts of power driving this electric motor, driving this huge 20 meter square electric earthquake table now as it goes. Get a so far, so good. So far, so good. Next, they remove the blue damping device, ready to check that the structure will collapse without it being in place. You can see the gap between the brown column where they've now taken it away. Let's see what happens without it. So after this day of tests, the Japanese engineers know they've got an answer to making thousands of offices, schools and hospitals across Japan much safer for when the next quake comes. And they can fit those damping pillars without gutting whole buildings. But will they be able to do it in time?